Hi guys, my name is Andrew, and this is our 2017 Sea Hunt Game Fish 30. We've had the boat for just over a year. In the past year, we put over 400 hours on the boat. Been to the Bahamas and back, fished the White Marlin Open, and several other tournaments. This can be our honest review after a year of use. Start at the front and work our way to the back. First thing you see up front is the anchor locker and the windlass. Uh, great for inshore and nearshore applications but only holds about 300 foot of line. So anything further offshore, you're gonna to need to bring some additional line. Um, moving down here, we've got a pitch live well right here. We use this a lot when we're cobia fishing. We'll put some live eels in there. We have a pole, one of the forward rod holders, and it's great to pitch those cobia as you see them. For the back, you got the coffin box seat on this boat. Uh, provides great 360 degree fishability of it and awesome storage. Uh, it's insulated storage, meaning that you can put ice or fish in here. It's also dry storage, so gear, tackle, anything like that you want. And the seat's great. My wife loves it when we're riding around. Um, guys come up here and sit down, we're offshore, take a break. It's just a really nice seat overall. Moving back, we'll look at the windshield that Sea Hunt did for 2017 uh, when they did the redesign. Windshield's great. You can have a conversation while we're running now without the yell. However, there's no windshield wiper. So as you imagine, when you get in rough conditions and take some spray, uh, it can be a little annoying. We've remedied that problem by using the Rain X for plastic spray and just keeping a handheld squeegee on the boat. It does a great job, so it's not a real issue. Moving further back, we've got the console side door here. This console is huge, has a full marine head in there with a hole in tank, meaning no porta potty. My wife loves that. Uh, also, the console is about six feet plus tall. I'm six foot, can stand there and don't hit my head. Provides a ton of storage space, so if you're going to the Bahamas or headed offshore, uh, you can load it up with tons of gear, luggage, anything you want. Moving back, we'll take a look at the helm. This boat's equipped with a Garmin electronic suite. Uh, in addition, it comes standard with the Optimus steering system, which is great, super responsive, easy to make turns on their speed, no problems there. We've added the Optimus 360 to this boat with the Sea Station. That's been a nice addition. Uh, as well as the Bell Marine Wireless Kill Switch, a great safety addition. You can see all your switches are right here in front of you when you're at the helm. Good access. Now, one thing I will say is the live wheel switches are mislabeled. You're going to have to fix that on your own. Moving back to the helm seating here. It's really comfortable. you got the flip-up bolsters. So when it's rough, you can flip it up and stand. When it's calm, you can sit down. It's got armrests for added comfort on each side. Uh, they've been really comfortable seats. Um, we'll take a second and talk about the T-top. Obviously, it's a pretty large T-top. We've got some blue lights here uh, that light up at night for you. Uh, keeps your night vision intact. There's spreader lights forward and aft. Um, in addition, one thing see on that that's really great is made these back and plates standard. So for out, it's not an outrigger mount. You don't have to then get additional plates. Uh, it's already there for you. <clears throat> on the sides here, you'll see some tackle storage on each side here and underneath the helm station. Moving further back, we've chosen to go with the rear seating option. You can do a rear seating or a bait station here. Uh, we chose the rear station for a couple reasons. One, we don't only fish the boat, so it's great to have additional passengers sitting back here when you're cruising, going out to dinner, that kind of thing. Two, it makes a nice makeshift fighting chair. And three, when that bite slows down, it's a great place to sit down and take a boat off while you still can wash the lines. On either side here, you'll see these tow rails. This is really nice when it gets rough offshore. You stick your foot underneath there, it gives you some, some, something to balance against when you're bringing a fish in or some lines or whatever you're working on on the side of the boat. Underneath the rear facing seats, there's a 40 gallon live well, which is nice because the seats keep it insulated during the summer, keeping those baits nice and cool. However, the live well drains forward, making it hard to get all the water out at the end of the day. We end up using a towel to sump up the last little bit. Here on the floor, we've got an access hatch. Now this is really nice. Right here we've got all of our pumps, hydraulic and live well pumps, as well as our through holes. <clears throat> Allows really easy access to maintain these items. On the transom wall here, we've got a really big fish box. We use this primarily, anything that doesn't fit in here goes in the coffin box, anything that doesn't fit in there goes in a fish bag. Hopefully you've got that problem. Third live well to the right of it. To the rear, this boat's pushed by twin Yamaha 300 horsepower motors. They've been
perfect for us, no problems. Just scheduled maintenance on those. They pushed the boat to about 61 miles an hour. Cruised the boat around 31 to 33 miles per hour at 1.9 to 2.1 mile per gallon. Uh, cruise, depending on the load. <clears throat> Beside the motors, on the starboard side, there's a pull-out ladder that stows inside the boat to be out of the way. And on the port side, you have the side entry door, which also has an, a ladder that's optional. So for snorkeling, diving, makes it easy to get in and out of the boat. After on the boat for a year, we'd recommend it to anybody. Um, got no complaints. If we could do it and go, do it again, we'd do it again. Uh, if you got any additional questions for us, go ahead and reach out to us on the social media platforms. It's Good Company Fishing on Facebook and Instagram, or you can leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.